All right, you guys, today we check out how to make this fully editable halftone text effect here in Illustrator, inspired from the legendary Nobu design. I'm also gonna go with the Estrella font. This is a free font you can download. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. And I also gonna recustomize it a little bit. I'm gonna go to the three dots and I'm gonna make them uppercase. This way it looks a little bit messy, but I'm gonna go to the type tool, long click and select touch type tool. And with this, I'm gonna select the letter A, for example, and I'm gonna recustomize. And with this little dot, I also can rotate to create some crazy typo. So anyways, it looks something like this. And now we're gonna apply the effect. Let's go to the appearance. If you don't have the appearance, you can go to windows and select the appearance. We're gonna go down here to the corner, click on the fill, and we're gonna go to the gradient and select the gradient. Let's go to the angles, type in 90 degree angles. Now, before applying the halftone effects, we're gonna need to apply the rasterize. So make sure that you're on the fill here. Let's go down to the corner, click on the effects. And let's select the rasterize. We're gonna change the RGB to grayscale, screen all the way up to 300 ppi, background transparent, click OK. Make sure that you're on the fill, and we're gonna go to the facts. Let's go to pixelate and select color half tone. Here I'm gonna go with 15, and the channels you can switch it up to 45 degree angles. And here with 0, 0, 0, click OK. Now, as you can see that the circles are cut off, which is not good. And we want to make the circles fully visible. So I'm going to go back to the rasterize and I'm going to change it from transparent to white. Click OK. And I'm going to unclick. Now it worked, but this way it has a white background. So if you want to apply colors, you're going to need to work that out differently. So I'm going to go to the appearance, click on the characters, and I'm going to add another fill. I'm going to switch it to another color, for example, orange, and I'm going to go down to the facts. Let's go to convert to shape, select the rectangle and just make a pretty big rectangle. I'm going to leave it like this right now. Click OK. And let's go to the upper field with the gradients. And here you can go to the opacity and you can change the blend mode, for example, to screen and check that out. It switched up the colors. Now we're gonna need to make this rectangle disappear behind the white rectangle. So we're gonna go click on the fill with the orange or red or whatever, and we're gonna add an effect. Let's go to distort and transform, transform, and we're gonna go to horizontal and vertical and place this rectangle to the center as much as possible. Click OK. Let's open up the fill. Let's go to the rectangle. Click on it. And we're going to decrease the size and the height to make it disappear. Click OK. You also can increase the half tones if you want to go to color half tone and you can type any number you like. And this is it. Thanks for watching.